Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and today we've got the Samsung Galaxy A9 with us. In this video, let's go ahead and box it and take a quick look inside. Opening up the box, we are greeted by the A9 itself. Let's set that aside for the time being. We then have a SIM ejector tool, the regular literature, Samsung's also thrown in a fast charger in the box here. We then have a micro USB cable, no type C this time and a pair of in-ear earphones. Peeling the plastic off, the first thing you notice is that the A9 is quite similar to the Galaxy S6 from last year. We have 2.5D Gorilla Glass 4 to the front and back. To the back, we also have a 13 megapixel rear camera with optical image stabilization and a single LED flash, Samsung branding below that. To the front, on top, we have the sensors, earpiece, an 8 megapixel front facing camera and Samsung branding. It's worth noting that there's no notification LED here. We then have a 6 inch display followed by the physical home key flanked by the backlit capacitive recent apps and back keys. The physical home key has a fingerprint scanner built in and it seemed to work alright. To the right we have the power button and a slot. Here you can add a SIM card and a micro SD card. To the bottom we have the primary microphone, micro USB port and the 3.5mm headphone jack. We then have the volume rockers to the right and the secondary noise cancelling microphone can be found up top along with another slot. Here's where you get to add the second SIM card. Nice of Samsung to not go the hybrid route. The Galaxy A9 is just 7.4mm thick and weighs in at about 200 grams. It feels very well built. Premium is the word that comes to mind given that it looks like a blown up S6. Just to give you perspective, here's the Note 5 next to it and of the Galaxy S6 Edge. By the way, if you're wondering what I have on these phones, I've got some great skins from Slick Wraps on them. Slick Wraps have a lot of great skins for the most popular of phones and they keep coming up with new ones all the time. I just picked up these sweet villain wraps for my PS4. Anyway, if you're interested in wraps, do check slick wraps out, I'll leave a direct link in the description below. So back to the Galaxy A9, the reason for its large footprint is the fact that it sports a 6 inch display. This is a 6 inch Full HD Super AMOLED display, which by the way is covered by 2.5D Gorilla Glass 4 for protection. For those interested, Full HD spread over 6 inches results in a pixel density of 367 pixels per inch. Well, that's not the sharpest, it's definitely not bad and given that this is a Super AMOLED panel, we get punchy colors, great viewing angles and amazing contrast thanks to those deep deep blacks. Surprisingly, despite this not being a flagship, Samsung hasn't skimped out on the internals either. The Galaxy A9 is powered by the 64-bit Snapdragon 652 chip. Now that's 4 Cortex-A72 cores clocked at 1.8GHz each, 4 Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 1.2GHz each, coupled with an Adreno 510 GPU, 3 gigs of RAM, a 4000mAh non-user replaceable battery, and despite the inclusion of a dedicated microSD card slot, Samsung still thrown in 32 gigs of onboard storage. Nice. The Galaxy A9 is currently running on Android 5.1 Lollipops and Samsung likes to launch new Android versions with flagships. We should expect the A9 to get 6.0 a few months after the launch of the S7. We have the familiar touch with UI on top. Which means of course Flipboard still lags so let's turn that off. We have support for themes built in, very few preloaded apps, the Google ones, some Microsoft ones and very few Samsung apps. Double pressing the home key launches the camera, shutter response seems fast, it can do 1080p videos, no 4K though. We have tons of modes that we've seen before and that includes the pro mode. Do note that this is the stripped down version of the pro mode that you find on the S6 and other flagships. It's Samsung after all so what else would you expect? Anyway, the 8 megapixel front facing camera seems decent too. Here are a few quick sample shots that I took with this camera. All other regular touchless features make a return too. You can set triple pressing the home key to launch the one handed mode, shrinking the display down to ease single handed usage. Then there's multi window that lets you run two apps side by side. The ultra power saving mode makes a return too. And this is the full fledged ultra power saving mode with the display turning monochrome unlike some other implementations we've seen on non flagship Samsung phones in the past. So I picked this Galaxy A9 up from 28mobile.com for about $500 and for that price Samsung seems to have put out quite a decent product. So I'm going to continue testing this out before coming out with my full review. In the meantime if you do want to pick one up for yourself you can do that from 28mobile or Amazon I'll leave direct links in the description below. So I guess that's it for this unboxing video, if you have any questions or constructive criticism to offer, leave them in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it and if you have any video requests, hit me up on Twitter at C4E Tech and I guess that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching, till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech, signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.